What's up, y'all? Welcome back, y'all, man. You know what it is. Back with another video, man. You know, giving y'all the topics on this podcast and continue to just give y'all stuff for 2022 that needs to be out, outspoken, and what needs to be told. But y'all know what y'all got to do. Subscribe to the channel. Come join your boy one time. It ain't going to hurt. It's free. I want to say it again. It's free to subscribe. It's not going to cost you a penny. Ain't going to be no Apple Pay coming out y'all account because y'all subscribe to DJ The Realist. It's completely free. But look, I want to go over the topic with y'all, man. Just give y'all like a motivational tip for people out there that's going through something or people that's like down and out. You know what I'm saying? That has no power to feel like they just not being seen, noticed, heard, whatever it is, etc. I'm on here to give y'all something to wake y'all up, you know, make y'all feel better the best way I can. So we're going to just start it off, man, and just, you know, just go into the details. But look, first thing first I'm going to say is this. You are you. You need to be exactly what God created you to be. Once you're the best version of you, nobody can tell you what to do. Nobody can tell you what to do, man. Like, if you just take you and just put it out there on the, on the world, the planet, let the world know who you is. Smile more, bro. Ladies, men, whatever. Smile more. Be, be more interactive with people, man. Respect others. You know what I'm saying? Like, teach your kids a different way of, of growing up. Not teaching them what they see and what... A lot of people is doing today make sure everything is better you know stuff like that man so if you're feeling down and you need to lift up hey wake up bro wake up we watching you we see you we love you continue to keep going don't stop simple as that whatever you're doing i don't care what it is if a job is not paying you enough money keep going you see what i'm saying keep going you get nowhere by stopping don't stop keep going quitting is a failure bro you don't want to quit nothing you do no matter what it looks like, no matter what people tell you, no matter how the outcome comes, it's gonna be a dirty side on everything that you're doing, good or bad, I promise you. It's gonna be okay in the end, you're gonna be able to celebrate. Keep going. So that, that's that's a first, like a motivational tip that I'm telling y'all. Second is, I gotta get this off my chest. For those who like us, for those who don't like me, or us, or however you wanna put them on my personal channel, it's okay, I forgive you. Regardless of what's happening with me right now is that 10 years from now, you're going to sit back and say, I remember when he made this video. If you if you rocking with me, you rock with me. If you don't, I feel sorry for you because I'm telling y'all right now it's going to happen. And when it do happen, I'm not going to throw it up. It's just going to be already out there. It's already showing. And you just got to tell yourself, I remember when this such and such, such and such happened. That's my motivation for myself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm automatically keep going and I know what's going to be there on the other side for me because I already see it. I have a mind of my own of thinking that I need to know what's right. I don't need no one to tell me next time do it better. Negative to me. I need you to tell me the wrong right now because when I, when I get told the wrong, now we can get forward to tell me what we need to do right. Don't tell me let's make it look better this time. That's completely bullshit. Tell me what's going on now. You see what I'm saying? I'm just up forward with a lot of shit right now. I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? I ain't eight in years, bro. So I'm hungry for success. So mind me, if my attitude is bad, it's because I haven't ate. You know, you get hungry, you don't eat, you get an attitude. So at that point, you want to take what you're doing. And it's like I say, this can be without a career. This can be with other stuff. You're hungry for what you're doing. So make sure you keep a, a very strong attitude on what you're doing. So when you get there, you can be able to say it ain't enough. You gotta realize nothing is enough, bro. We're not comfortable, I'm not comfortable. And being somewhat big is not comfortable, bro. It's not comfortable. Never get comfortable where you at because those situations are failures, bro. Being comfortable, being in your comfort zone is a failure. You don't wanna be in your comfort zone. You wanna be on, on a zone to where if I tell myself I'm not comfortable, you see what I'm saying? I'm gonna always try to chase something bigger than what I'm doing. Be a bigger version of yourself. Be yourself, you know what I'm saying? Stay out of the lane of everybody else. Don't be like everybody else, but be yourself and just do it better. Just just, just have fun doing that shit, you see what I'm saying? Have fun doing what you're doing, but, but be angry to eat. Be in a rush to do what you need to do at all times, bro, because it's like you, you only got 24 hours in a day. You see what I'm saying? We gonna stop living for that anyway. 24 hours a day, stop worrying about daylight and night. You see what I'm saying? If you up, you work during the night. If you up, you work during the day. If you sleep, you just completely missed out. You got comfortable. You see what I'm saying? So, in the point, it's like, 
Make your habits different than what's scheduled. Don't go by the schedule. Stop doing that. Make your schedules different. Make your schedules known as, I don't care if it's 12 in the morning, I'm gonna upload. I don't care if it's 12 in the morning, I'm going to work. I don't care if it's 12 in the morning, I got an idea. If you got an idea at three o'clock in the morning and you just sat in the bed and you just, just thought about the shit and you didn't get up and you didn't write that down in your agenda, when you wake up that next morning, that idea is completely gone because the body of your laziness is not gonna let you focus on what you really had a fucking plan on doing. So get up, get up. If you got an idea of something you wanna do with your life and it's five o'clock in the morning and you just woke up, pray first and get up and write it down, okay? Get up and write it down. The part of this, being lazy is always gonna be there. Being tired is always gonna be there. That is time because we are designed to sleep. We got time to do that, but we don't have time is, is to pass up and, and a thinkable opportunity that came on your brain and you didn't manifest it. You don't have time to sit there and say, I'm gonna get to it later. No, you get to it now. You get to it now. Let's take chances. Let's leap up the, uh, let's leap courses right about now. You know what I'm saying? Take, take actions on what you're doing, man. Be physical on what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? Be physical on what you're doing. Um, uh, take responsibilities, man. Take, take, take all of that shit and just put it in one box and say, I'm gonna go through this whole box and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this until I complete it. And when you complete that shit out that box, get another box and figure out something else to do with it because that money you made ain't gonna be enough. You wanna make more money and you wanna make more money on top of that. So. Take your boxes, your dreams, your notepads, write stuff down, bro, and, and visualize it because our brains, when we get to a point where we forget, that's the devil saying, I don't want you to really do it. You see what I'm saying? God, like I say, God talks to you at night. He don't talk to you during the day. Everything in the daytime is fake. Everything at night is real. You see what I'm saying? Your thoughts and creativities, everything comes at night. Everything comes at nighttime, bro. So when you sitting there, and you got these billion dollar fortune ideas, you need to work on that shit. Manifest that shit. Your manifest, your manifest, it comes during the night. Your manifesting is thinking, bro. So stop thinking about what you're doing and just go out there and do it. It's one thing that I did, I thought about something and I did it and that's what I'm sitting here talking to y'all guys today. I manifested something I wanted to do and it happened. You see what I'm saying? It happened. I know a lot of y'all are gonna say, well, you only got a few subs on this channel. You only got a few on that channel. You this and this and that. You ain't this. It doesn't matter. You don't have to look at a big person to get motivation and responsibilities for your life. Everybody got a brain that speaks on certain things to say that people can take and use. You see what I'm saying? It don't matter. I've heard a lot of big people speak, but didn't know what they was talking about. And I just sit there and I listen. Should I say something? Man, I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble. I don't know this. Stop thinking you're gonna get in trouble for everything that you're saying coming out your mouth. If your brain wants you to speak, you speak. If you're a man, you speak, you say it. It's not being afraid, it's about being in the right room. If I'm in the right room, I should be able to say something that's gonna better my life, make you look at me more happier, make me look at you more happier, build relationships to last longer, and from that day on, you carry on for something. No one wants to be around nobody just sitting up quiet like this. We can't just sit and stare no more. You see what I'm saying? We can't sit and stare no more. If somebody like this, if y'all got a job interview in the morning, somebody out there might look at this video and say, man, I got a job interview in the morning. I'm gonna tell you what you need to do when you walk inside that job interview. You sit down, you shake the hand man first. There's a woman or a, a, a man, shake their hand, firm grip. Sit down, man. Dress to impress. Make sure you look like something. Make sure you listening for one. You're not gonna get the talk first. You're gonna get to listen first. And when they tell you a question, you answer that question the same way you answered your questions when you were asleep and woke up and you thought about something. You had a dream. You see what I'm saying? Interviews are dreams. When you dream, you are the most professional person in the world when you dream. You get what I'm saying? Everything looks so perfect when you dreaming. And when you wake up, damn, I didn't really have no winning lottery ticket. I didn't really go out there and buy that new coupe. I ain't go out there and buy a new house. It looks perfect. So when you have a dream like that, make that dream look real and go out there and you take that actions and you go out there and you go do it, manifest it. Same thing when you get a job interview. You already know what you need to be saying when you want on a job interview. You sit down, man, you sit up straight. Sit in your seat straight, don't slouch. You already giving definitions of, you're not gonna work full eight hours. You already showing me a half a day of laziness. 
Sit up, be correct to yourself. Respect yourself. Respect yourself. Ask questions. Ask questions. Read before you sign. You see what I'm saying? Read before you sign something. And that's just that's just the responsibility as life as it goes. You see what I'm saying? That's responsibility as life as it goes. Now, that's one topic. Let's get to the last one. But number three, because I'm not gonna make this video so long. If you make it in life with something to where you get all the millions, you don't have to stunt. You ain't gotta shit on people. You ain't gotta show off money. That is not motivation. That is not a motivational tip. Motivational tip is speaking to people that don't have it. You don't speak to people that do have it. You speak to people that don't have it. You see what I'm saying? You don't shit on people that don't have nothing. You shit on people that do have something. The ones that probably told you that you didn't couldn't do it. Then you take that and say, now that all this is over with, let's forgive each other. Now we enemies. Let's get out here and, and, and change the world because see what we're doing. We can make somebody else have this shit. There is maybe 5% of black YouTubers that are successful today. 5%. 5% of black YouTubers successful today. We get on TV, we cut on Netflix. I know y'all all seen the Hype House. I watched it. It is so many white content creators getting together and making things happen. Taking their money out their pocket to help the next one. That is a big vision. And that's the reason why I say there's 5% of black successful YouTubers. 5%. And that can go on throughout the world. And I know y'all probably wondering, I, I, I'm not racist, I have nothing against white folks, I have nothing against Asians, Mexicans, none of that. I don't, I'm not racist, I'm gonna say that one time and I don't care if y'all wanna comment and say, you are race, you are this, you are that. No, I'm not that. It's just that they had their mind together and they had shit together. So when you do walk in job interviews, the first person you see is white. The first person you see is white and as a black male or female, the second thing you see is, I'm not gonna last here too long. Don't tell yourself that. You don't know what that white girl or person or male gonna do for you. You might be the next up to interview people. Stop telling yourself because your race is black that you're not gonna be in those positions. You see what I'm saying? That's the same thing with this YouTube shit. Because I'm black, I won't never be as big as Mr. Beast. Or because I'm black, I won't never be big as the Ace Family. Stop telling yourself that shit. Stop doing that. It's room, there's room, you see what I'm saying? It is room, it's just like the NFL. It's a lot of room for black players, but we the first to sit up here and get stupid and, and, and get uncontrollable and do something retarded to where we got the lead. And then you get this word called GOAT. And every person that's to call the GOAT in national football leagues are white. They're white. And it's nothing wrong with that because you a man. You gonna do whatever you wanna say. Tom Brady, if he wanna do something retarded, go out there and kill everybody, hey, he can do it. But his brain is not like that because when he had that dream, it was so perfect to what he wanted to turn into real life. We're not gonna sit here and say we're gonna make temporarily friendship or temporarily relationship goals or temporarily business goals. That's what you on. You see what I'm saying? I'm sending messages out for everybody to see what I'm saying and take it. Take those messages and run with them because the opportunity is there, man. Let's turn that 5% into 50%. Slowly, gradually work through it, bro. Slowly, gradually just work through that shit. Every time we search how to do something on the internet or on Google, the first person you see is white. Stop getting mad because you see that. If they got a head on their shoulders, you can have one too. You can have it too. It's not that hard, man. It's not that hard to get your credit score up too. Do shit on time, credit is not about. I've heard a lot of people saying, getting credit is put a car in your name and you can, you can build your credit. That's not how it go. It's about responsibility, discipline. Credit is discipline. If you know it's due, pay it. If you know it's due a day before is that day, pay it a day early. It's called discipline. It's not get a car put in your name and get a house put in your name, get a get a nice AP watch put in your name and pay for it and you got your credit up. No, it's not because nine times out of 10, you're not gonna pay for that because the way we live is we want more than we need. I'm just speaking facts and I don't, I don't care how y'all see it. I've been there, done that. 
I had to slow some shit down because I started to realize certain shit, man. I actually want more than I need. I don't need, I don't want to really buy this. I just want to have it, but do I need it? No, I don't need that. What I do need is something that's going to continue to have me go and say, if I want that, I can buy that. Don't ever say I can't get it. If I want that, I can buy that. See, that's your man. That's, that's the mind you need nowadays. We're in 2022. Bro, let me tell you something, bro. It'll be a, it, it's going to be a, it, it won't be a cold day. And I'm going to tell you like this. You know what I say? It'll be a cold day in hell before you see that. No, it's not. It's going to be a cold day in hell when you do see flying cars, bro. Shit is getting too smart. Shit is getting too fucking smart. It will happen, bro. Robots is controlling the fucking world. They don't need humans no more. See what I'm saying? They don't need humans no more. They don't need that shit. People building shit. I heard people say, oh, I just ordered a car and I'm getting a car built. Listen to what just said. The robot is building it. You just relied on a robot, not a person. Not a person. You order something. Computers are robots, y'all. They're robots. When you speak to a phone and it types out what you're saying, it's a robot. Siri's a robot. Everything is controlled. You see what I'm saying? Because the world is so, it's so mean and disturbing to where we, we kill each other every single day. We fight and we don't care about what our community look like. So why not hire robots? Robots to do it. When you upload a video on YouTube, the first person that checks it out is a robot. A robot determines if your video is monetized or get paid or not. Not a person. So you have to outsmart the technology if you want to be successful nowadays. You got to outsmart it. You see what I'm saying? You go to a job interview, you should be able to do an application, you write it. We should be able to take a pen, right? We should be able to take a pen and we just write down the application. We was able to lie so much on it. You see what I'm saying? You was able to put down a fake social security number. You can write it. But when you type that social security number on the internet wrong, it's going to shoot that little red code saying in error. They know it's not you. You see what I'm saying? They know it's not you. So what that means is if you write down something fake, you know you're not a clean person. So that means don't go out there and do something dirty to make yourself look cool in the streets. Now that you did it, but now when you want to turn your life around and you go down and you write your social security number down, now all of a sudden, the computer and the robot know who you are. Cops ain't putting us in jail. Judge is not locking us up. Prosecutors ain't giving us time, it's the robots. They already know what you're doing because cameras are everywhere watching. They're everywhere watching. This is just a motivational tip to fix yourself better, do things better, and have discipline, bro, and respect others, man. When you see somebody walk by, you, you tell them, how you doing? They gonna nine times out of 10, they gonna come back and tell you, I'm doing fine, how you been doing? How you doing today? I'm doing wonderful, all right. Talk to you later. Speak to your neighbor sometime when you see them, man. The respect and discipline goes a long fucking way. That's where you can get certain things. You want a higher position at a job, you want to have a, a better life and goal careers, have discipline and respect for yourself. If you don't respect the bill, they cut them off. Lights, phones, take your cars. If you don't respect people, they don't look at you as a business person. And I'm just speaking real raw facts to y'all. Now, you can watch people that shows things that you want to have in life. But are they telling you the right shit? You can watch that shit. You see what I'm saying? You can watch that. Name one church that don't hold over 100 people, right? They hold a lot of people inside of a church. You don't see them wearing jewelry, you know, big watches and putting up in nice cars. You might say, oh, you got the scammers out there that do it. Some of the pastors and stuff like that, the preachers, yeah, they probably out there doing it. But how do you get that person to be watched that heavy without all the accessories? Because discipline and respect. Discipline and respect. You see what I'm saying? Discipline and respect. All that stuff y'all seeing, bro, don't mean nothing, man. The day I, the day I get big and say I want to meet a big, successful YouTuber or a big movie star, man, I don't want to see you with all that shit on your neck. Yeah, I got on one. It's a cross because that's what I like, bro. Simple shit. I don't like the main shit. You know what I'm saying? So I like simple stuff in life. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, when I meet you, I don't want to see all that shit. I want to know what's up underneath all of that. 
I want to know where you come from. I want to know who you are. How did you do it? If I meet you with all this on, then you're going to give me a whole different demeanor. You ain't going to talk to me. You got too much money on. Talk to me when you just wake up. The best time to talk to somebody is when they just woke up. That's the best time to talk to somebody. When they just woke up. You got a fresh brain. Okay? Your eyes. When you open up your eyes. When you wake up. Everything is 0%. You don't have all that old shit stored when you went to sleep no more. You got 0% of shit and you can just start off fresh. You see what I'm saying? You start off fresh. The word fresh resembles the next day. You start off fresh. New Year's resembles fresh, which means the next day. We're not into a new year, we're just a different number. That's it. It's just the next day, everything is fresh. So like I say, man, relax, take chances, be dependable, be respectful to yourself and have discipline. And I promise y'all success and whatever y'all do in life will go the way you want it. If you want to wear a suit and tie out a certain job, be dependable and, 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 and be, be respectful to yourself and have discipline. I promise you'll wear that shit. It's not going to take that long. It won't take that long. So stop thinking that. God gave people certain voices to sing. God gave people certain talent. God gave, God don't, listen. People get to where they at because of respect and discipline, bro. Believing in themselves, trusting in God, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? God don't give you millions. He doesn't give you that. Don't pray for stuff you want. How you gonna pray to God Please let me get this money. Please let me get this rap label. Please let me get into the to the NFL. Please let me become successful. Please. You forgot the fact that you've been living this long and you ain't prayed to God that you, you you're up and alive today. You forgot about what you what he's been giving you. You're praying in a home to God, right? For something better. But you're not praying the fact that's saying, thank you, Lord, for, for everything that I got today. If there's more stored, whatever you want me to do, keep me here to see it. You follow what I'm saying? That's your lead. That's your motivation, man. Everybody motivation when they speak on this shit, money. Money, 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 money. That's it. All fucking money. Excuse my language, but all money. I told myself this year I'm gonna slow down on cursing too, man, because I'm a, I'm a raw person. You know what I'm saying? But it's just who I am. I'm not cursing at you, I'm just cursing on, on, on topics of me. This is where I talk. You know what I'm saying? But I told myself I'm gonna try to slow down from doing that. So bear with me. Bear with me, y'all. But man, look, I'm gonna leave it at that, man. And, and I don't wanna give y'all too much juice because I can go all day about this shit. But there we go again. We said it again. I can go all day about these things. But. If y'all want to see more videos like this, like I said, it's free to subscribe, man. It don't hurt. You don't, it's, it's not a, it's, stop saying that you're supporting me. You're not supporting me. You're just interested in me. You see what I'm saying? You're not supporting me. You're just interested in me. That's all. If I was interested in you, I'm going I'm to I'm subscribe to you. Simple as that. Now, if you go out there and you want to rape, kill, and steal people, I'm not interested in that. Why would I subscribe and watch it? Not interested in that. I'm just interested in seeing you going to jail for a very long time. And then once you in there, your viral moment stops. You gotta understand that shit. Those type of shits and viral moments, they all stop. So I'm gonna have to catch y'all on the next video, man, because me sometimes talking about my topics makes me mad, and then I start talking out of shit, and then all of a sudden I'm gonna say words that y'all gonna be like, oh. Then y'all gonna start knowing a lot of real stuff, man. But shout out to the people that put me on, man. There's people out there that really look up to y'all and, and 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 to us. And it, and it happened. A lot of this won't happen without them, you know what I'm saying? So it really did happen. But I got a challenge to ask y'all. Don't stop believing in me because it ain't over with. Don't never make something say, man, I was too late. Catch y'all on the next video. We're out of here. Peace.